Hello and welcome back to our series on the Heralds in Assassin's Creed games. First we listen in, and then we discuss what is actually being said. Without any further ado, let's let the Herald talk. The Orsini family will hold festive games this Saturday in the plain before San Paolo Fuori Le Mura. Richer prizes for all games champions promised. 4,000 gold scudi to the most valente cavaliere as well as the favor of Donna Lucia Orsini. I figure we have three major things to discuss with this announcement. The Orsini family, the San Polo Fiori Le Mura, and Scudi. Pardon my Italian. The House of Orsini was a prominent family in the city of Rome that would eventually boast over a dozen cardinals and a trio of popes. Unfortunately for them, the rise of Pope Alexander VI, a.k.a. Rodrigo Borgia, eventually meant major setbacks for the Orsini family. Which was ironic, considering that, according to historian Johann Peter Kirsch, Cardinal Giambattista Orsini was a large reason why Pope Alexander was elected in the first place. Anyway, this family is hosting festive games for the people at a place that we are unfortunately unable to visit in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the San Polo Fiori Le Mura is located to the southwest of the available map and along the Tiber River. If we were able to visit this grand event, we might be able to win quite a large sum of money. The Scudo, or Scudi for plural, was the name for a number of different coins used in different states across Italy. If we are the bravest participant, then we shall win the money. The Colonna family wishes it to be known a great tourney will be held this Saturday in the field beyond San Lorenzo Fuori Le Mura. Rich prizes for all games winners are promised, as well as a purse of 2,000 gold scudi to the most manful, chivalrous cavaliere. Whoa, hey now. Rome is going to be partying quite a bit. The Colonna family is apparently also planning on holding a type of festival on Saturday, which is a great way to segue into one of the more intense rivalries in Renaissance Rome, Colonna versus Orsini. The Colonna boast about a half dozen cardinals in their history and managed to secure one pope, Martin V, whose election effectively ended the Western Schism. I'm not going to get into that now, but it's an important moment in Christian history. In general, this family rivalry between the Orsini and Colonna split the city of Rome between north and south, respectively. These families clashed for years until the Borgia Pope came to power and pushed them both to the side for some years. Their rivalry didn't come to a true conclusion until just after the period of this game, when Fabrizio e Colonna and Julio Orsini swore to cease hostilities before Pope Julius II. Therefore, it makes sense that these two would have their own respective celebrations on the same day at this point in history. Although I will say it is interesting that the Colonna would be in the north. The Sienese banker Agostino Chigi will host yet another huge festa at his villa in honor of his immense good fortune. In particular, the huge profits expected against loans to the Colonna and Orsini families will be celebrated. Oh my goodness, Rome is raging. Let's talk about the host of this party, Agostino Chigi. He was an Italian banker and patron during this time, was originally from Siena. Born to a prominent banker, he moved to Roma in 1487 and quickly turned his family's reasonable fortune into the title richest man in Rome by lending huge amounts of money to Pope Alexander VI and other important figures at this time. Hence this announcement. Apparently both the Colonna and Orsini families have turned to Agostino Shigi to pay for their parties on Saturday, while the profits from the interest on those loans have helped pay for his own party. Among the other good fortunes that Agostino can celebrate at this event are the consolidation of the salt and alum monopolies. These helped pave the way for his mass fortune. Okay, well, are there any other parties we need to know about, Harold? 
due to the recent resurgence of La Malaria in the Campo Marzio, restoration and cleaning work has been temporarily suspended at Santa Maria del Popolo. The bishop asks that Pellegrini avoid the area for the foreseeable future. Okay, the party's over. Unfortunately, malaria and Rome have a long history, and while the disease is typically seen today as tropical, it was quite commonplace across medieval and Renaissance Europe. Even more unfortunate, the miasma theorist blamed fumes and bad air for the symptoms of the disease for centuries rather than the real culprit. Either way, this announcement wouldn't be an uncommon one, and until the fumes mosquitoes, can be sorted, no more work will be done in this northern section of the city. The Santa Maria del Popolo I don't believe is in the game, but is nearby to where we are now. The Consiglio Rionale reminds visiting Pellegrini to walk with an eye open for overhanging architectural sanitation features. They would also like to apologize to the Duchesse di Alba and wish her grace, great peace and solace in the continuation of her visit. And while we are partying and avoiding malaria, we also need to be aware of overhanging architectural sanitation features. What a list of words. <laughs> Apparently, Italy has had another issue with a foreign dignitary either getting hurt or having their pride hurt because of infrastructure, and the council has seen it fit to warn people of potential problems. We've heard of similar situations in Venice in Assassin's Creed 2, and apparently they keep happening now in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I found a woman, Isabel de Zuniga y Pimentel. I believe she was the Duchess at this time, but I can't be too sure. Sources were relatively vague. And thank you so much for watching and listening in. I hope you enjoyed this video and I ask that you please like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content. I make it mainly for myself, and if anyone else can enjoy, that's great too. Thank you, and have a great day.